<clears throat> Yo, what is up, guys? Hey, uh, I just wanted to make a uh, commentary video for this Arathi Basin that I had played um, maybe like two weeks ago, I think it was. Um, so yeah, it was like a 2600 team, and it was actually a pretty fucking close game. Um, I'm just going to skim through it decently quick um, so that you guys can get a really good idea of what we're doing and why not. Um, I've decided from like here on out, man, that I'm not really going to play um, like my team's audio and stuff or other team's audio because from what I understand, like a, like quite a few people like have like been commenting like, oh, this guy's toxic, yada, 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 man. And like, I, I don't want to like promote that onto my channel, um, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to go ahead and just talk through this game and what's going on uh, and skim through it. So you guys can get like the gist of what's happening, right? Um, first off, right, you can see that the hunter had capped the base, um, dream or the druid and I are going to go to mines, uh, DH and priest are going to BS and everybody else up to LM. Um, something that you can do when you are sitting like farm, like right at the very beginning, man, is you can cap the base and run to bs pop all your cooldowns and then run back to the base right because they're not going to react that fast nobody is nobody's even quick enough to get there you know what i mean like no, no just nobody's going to get there if that makes sense so just keep that in mind like if, if you go to cap the base as a rogue like maybe go bs pop a couple coolies you know and then get the fuck out and get back to your farm um so right here it's a rep powder man um this is so annoying, dude. I, I always forget about this because I don't know if you guys just noticed, but when a tank paladin mounts, he's like immune to CC, and I just I just sent my fucking blind like an ape. Um, so I went ahead and uh, kidneyed him, and I locked him into a duel, and then um, he had a trinket, bubble, like whatever. He was using everything to spin this base, right? So at this point, he kind of doesn't really have a lot, so I'm like, hey, let's just knock this guy out. Um, it can't be too ridiculously hard, you know? Um, but yeah, powder and tanks, by the way, super fucking troll. It looks like our entire team got wiped at LM. Um, and so they start rotating down to BS. Um, maybe it looks like our DH actually loses it too, because our priest probably got one shot. Does he lose it? He didn't lose it. Probably our priest spends it. Yeah. So I, I tell, I tell the Drew to sit. And, I mean, there's no point in going LM anymore, so I'm just having the entire team go into BS while I make a play onto stables to try and withdraw anybody from capping the base. Or not capping the base, but, like, like what I always talk about when, like, I'm playing a node map is, like, I like to be aggressive as as much as I can um, so that the enemy team isn't as, aggress as aggressive, right? It's kind of like controlling the pace of the game. Um, if I'm constantly hitting bases, then the enemy team is constantly reacting. If I'm sitting bases all the time, right, and I'm not really ghosting, or I'm not really trying to make those plays and whatnot, then why are you double sitting when there's two fucking bases, man? That's so lame. Um, but if I'm like sitting and other people are ghosting and then I have to react, well, then they're kind of controlling the game. Right here, I made it seem like it's like a mind game, you know, like I made it seem like I was going to go BS. Okay. Do I actually go BS? Let's see. It looks like it. Sometimes I'll like, I'll like the last scene, like, you know, like, oh, like, you know, like think of it like a cop almost, you know, <laughs> like, oh, he was last scene headed to BS, you know, but then I go stealth and I hit LM, something like that. Um, I see that the Mistweavers and Teamfight Man, get the fuck out of here, bro. Mistweavers are dog, okay? Sending these cheap shots, target calling like a madman. Priest is on DR. H Paladin is bubble in bubble man, and it looks like this Windwalker is overextended. Something you can do is just focus on anybody overextended so that it forces the healers upwards, right? And so I just start getting, I get into a team fight, and I'm just calling targets, man. I'm just pumping, man. Um, I see that this fucking Paladin is coming into team fight. Super is, man. If you play a Paladin tank, man, yikes, you're cringe, dude. Um, so right now I'm just sending out cheap shots, maybe stopping some damage. Pa uh, right here, Windwalker doesn't have Trinket. Um, maybe I send the Kidney Bomb. 
Maybe? He's like way the fuck back there? What do I do? No kidney? No? What about the DK? No? Man, sometimes I'm bad. I don't know. Well, the DK is like on stun DR. <clears throat> spell, drop the kidney, drop the box. Nice. Nice. Cool. And that's huge damage gone. Maybe kill, get a kill on the Windwalker as well. Nope. He gets cocooned. So, something a lot of people don't take advantage of is like if uh, a monk gets cocooned or if any healer um if any healer defensive is used just cyclone it right away man like quit thinking that you're gonna pump you're gonna pump more damage into them than they're defensive like yeah maybe if they're like you know under five percent right but if they're like 20 percent man just cyclone them so he doesn't get healed with that defensive right and switch to another target and like pump into him because you're not going to kill through a defensive um but dream the druid said that the rogue and druid are in stealth and that he thinks mines is getting ready to get hit so i peel out immediately um to go cover over his base get the re-stealth i have cloaked in shadows so my stealth isn't breaking um let's see what happens Oh, so this is what happens. So I wanted to make it seem like I was... So when I come out of stealth here, I wanted to make it seem like I was the only person like actually uh, like at the base, right? Because if, if I like come out of stealth, fan of knives, and then, they, and then the team sees me like uh, mount up, they're going to think that maybe I was like the only one sitting there. And especially like when I click on whoever's sitting stables... Stealth turn around. Like that is a huge like mind game right there, right? Like, oh lion, um the rogue was clicked on you and he stealth towards your base. You know? It's super minuscule, but like something like that can really trip up the enemy team because they really have no clue where you are. Right? But I mean, we know that somebody's here at this base. We don't know it, but I mean it's super easy to hit, right? Um so I'm I feel like I'm wasting time because they're not opening yet. So it looks like I called the demon hunter out um, But unfortunately Sax gets opened on by a rogue and a druid at the same time So at this point I'm checking if LM is being ghosted, right? Um, two boomies are out lion sitting right there the tank paladin sitting right there So I know that the DK is floating in between LM and stables and one of the druids is at LM, right? That's just not simple, but I mean, it's pretty simple uh, information that could be given when clicking through frames um, as I was, right? So I think I can make a play against the Druid. So I go ahead and go up there to see what I can do, right? Um, when you're capping versus a Druid, usually I don't like dropping Smoke Bomb because then they drop Trents and it kind of like fucks everything over. The cool thing you can do is you can kind of like, you can just like cloak in shadows. Look, watch this. Let's see if I get this. I cloak. He's in melee range. I blind him. He trinkets. I full kidney him, right? So he has no trinket. I have no blind. He's off sap DR, right? So I vanish. Sap him out of the kidney. I get the base for free, man. It's, it's that easy. If a druid comes that close to you, man, which they don't need to, it is that easy, okay? All you need to do is get their trinket, put them in a kidney, and then uh, you probably have to vanish at the... I would just vanish because you don't want to... Because, like, you're not supposed to be dropping combat within a kidney shot, right? It's, like, a second after a kidney shot. Um, so, usually, I just vanish. And then then you can get the sap off, right? Uh, I, I was, I was kind of talking about this in another video where if you sit out of stealth and sap somebody... Or not sap somebody, kid, kidney somebody... Their only reaction is going to be, hey, I'm going to, uh, like, I'm going to hit this guy as soon as I come out of this kidney shot, right? But what you guys don't see is, like, I trinket, or I vanish at the last second so he doesn't get it. Um, I got shit on right there. And, holy shit, I should have I, I should have kicked that Convoke. That was 100% my bad. Um, but, thankfully, it looks like our priest made it up there in time. Um, we backed out of BS because we got LM, so there's not really a point to be there anymore. We're kind of like wasting time. It's not always been that was a weird grip. That should not have that that should not have happened. Um, that grip right there. I don't know if you guys seen that. 
Um, but yeah, like I was saying, it's not always beneficial to just leave the base as soon as you get three. I mean, sometimes it's beneficial to keep fighting because, like, you know, maybe you win it, right? Um, so right here, my team makes a huge mistake, okay? And this is, like, a part of, like, not communicating. We Demoner doesn't have Trinket. He's still sitting on top of the flag. He gets rooted. Cycloned. During that root, the team should have already been turning around. He gets uh, CC'd, maybe? Does he lose a base? It doesn't seem like he loses a base. Thank goodness, right? But there's two healers here as opposed to, like, a, like a healer DPS. Like, that was a really poor rotation, right? Um, so, like I said at the beginning, I'm trying to keep that really high pace pressure um, that I like to keep. So, I go ahead and go straight to uh, BS, man. Like, these bases, I'm, I'm trying to not let them have them for free. So, I'm trying to make a play there. We still farm. Um, looks like Dreamwalker was probably double hit by a Druid. Let's see. Does he have any dots? Yep, he was double hit by a Druid Rogue. Um, should have had, like, one of our DPS from farm rotate down. Because um, anytime you have three anytime you have three bases, like, let's say you have LM, farm, and mines, you always want, like, somebody to sit in between the node. Not necessarily on the node, but you just want them to sit there just in case something happens and they can rotate in between the bases, right? So if you have, like, three bases really far away, make sure you guys are doing that, especially in, like, deep wind. That base is such a huge map that you have to have um, somebody sitting in between the nodes because that map takes fucking forever to get across. Um, <clears throat> so it looks like we still have our priest and our demon hunter up there. I think I can get the cap. I should have soul shaped right there, maybe. Let's see what happens. No, nope, they're double sitting. That's annoying. Um, I think that I can just shit on this guy. Let's see. Where's the dam? Could have had the dam. Binded him. Okay, get the kill. Sap out. Nothing? All right, never mind. No sappy sap. I should have sapped right there. I think I may have been able to sap, but I don't know. Um, but it looks like we're a team fighting in BS because we lost mines. Um, I go to grab the body, but I don't even know what happened to him. Maybe, maybe he was having like a release bug or something. Um, so yeah, now we have our sitters. Like we have our uh, druid, and I have our hunter sitting. The demon hunter is coming down into team fight while they have like one down, and they're slowly rotating, rotating towards mine. Miss Weaver doesn't have trinket. Miss Weavers are easy kills. Remember that they're free. He gets sack. Right there, he should have been like, just. Somebody should have been instantly CC'd, like the Paladin or something. I don't know. Like, if you guys are using, the, maybe not into sack, but just when people use defensive, just make sure you guys are CCing them right away, right? Um, I'm trying to get the restyle so I can go see what's up at mines. Um, maybe? Let's see. No, nope, that priest doesn't have trinket. That's a full stun. Let's see if we can get a kill right here. Cheap shot on to the Miss Weaver. Nice. Cheap shot on him again. Nice. So I just CC'd both of the healers. Was able to get the kill. Grab both of the bodies. Um, and I'm just pumping a fuck ton of damage into this teamfight, man. When when a rogue is in teamfight, man. I did not mean to start clicking this fight. I meant to grab the body. Um, when a rogue is into teamfight. You guys are calling the shots, man. Like, Call out your kidneys. Call out your... Your evasion, your vanish, your saps, all that shit, dude. Right? Um, so I tell Lex to sit between mines and, um, or farm into an LM, it looks like, so that she can rotate in between. Or maybe go to LM, I'll sit farm. Looks like maybe we do like some triple sitting action right here. Um, looks like quite a few people are going up to LM, so maybe the team's going up there. I went ahead and grabbed Berserker, thinking I might make a play on mines. But, I mean, we have three bases, man. Like, you don't have to be risky 24-7. Um, you, you only have to try and make those type of plays during... Uh, oh, my God, dude. I want to talk about that. I don't know if you guys just noticed what happened. But we had we just lost BS, man. We have a, we have a, we have a DK and a Shaman sitting there. One gets sapped. One gets blinded. Because neither of them have trinkets. I don't know what fucking priest is... I think it's Chan... Who isn't sitting there. And we lose the base immediately after getting it, dude. Oh, dude. This game is a clown fiesta, man. Um, let's see. So it looks like farm gets hit by the druid. And 
and the rogue shows up. Maybe? No, I think the rogue's still mid. Oh, I follow this guy thinking that they're ghosting mines. Um, Man, I should have done the same thing. Right here, like remember when you got when I was like, hey, I don't really like to box versus druids. I think maybe I thought I was like alone. But um since since he casted those trends and shit, I should have just cloaked and did the same exact thing I did earlier. And I probably would have been able to get this base. Um but the DK rotates over. Um I just peel out because I'm not gonna get anything done there. And I tell the druid to go into BS while I set farm. Because he's going to be able to do more damage than me um, at the moment. Because I don't really have Cloak, Banish. I don't have any of that shit. And if I get focused, I'm going to get shit on, right? So thankfully, we went over BS because of good rotation. Um, communicating with the team. Make sure everybody's sitting everywhere. Um, like triple sitting at this point, And maybe like one float type of thing. Um, something like that, right? And it looks like a rogue druid shows up. Communicating with the team. We already have three people here. And at this point, man, it's kind of GG. Right, we just triple set everything. Triple set meaning be, being like, like we don't have anybody leaving the base, right? Um, everybody's sitting, everybody's having the great old time, and yeah, man. I mean, at this point, the game is pretty, pretty free, pretty over. Um, let's see. Rogue opens, monks there. Yeah, GG, dude. Seven and one. Yeah, good game, good game. Like I said, this was a few weeks ago, but I mean, it was versus a pretty good team. Um, but I will say, man, like, I, I felt like, I remember playing this game, and I remember, like, our team just felt really off, right? Even though we have consistent players, except for the Warlock, I have no clue who the Warlock is. Um, we have, like, really consistent players, and sometimes you just have an off night, man, and it's okay to just, like, hey, like, you know, let's let's come back tomorrow, refresh, and call it early, you know? Like, there's no point in continuously queuing if people are in a slump and they're not communicating or they're not performing to what they naturally can, stuff like that, right? Um, maybe at that point, you guys just log on other tunes and try and work on some other stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was a pretty good game. It was pretty close because um, of a few questionable caps that they had had. Um, but other than that, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, and you guys have a wonderful good night. Peace.